Hey, Shono. Yeah. Suspension's done. How you like the high rider? Yeah. Nah. 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 Nah, not Mad Max style. Well, well if you don't have that much lift, you need bigger wheels and tyres to fill those guards. Am I right, people? Wait big, up. Big offset. Wait up, I've got something for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I reckon she goes alright. I think it's a bit tight on the guards. <laughs> <laughs> to so today we're actually going to do some suspension on the Magnara. Shawno? Well, we're going to try some, because, perspe some because, suspension. Because after several years on some country roads, she's yeah. she's, uh, she's munted. Target grafted. Alright. So whilst we have the. Uh, Wheels off about to start the suspension. I saw it may as well get in here, clean all this crap up because all the stone guard has decided to fall off, especially down here in the rear, as you can see. So uh, we'll take the we'll take the opportunity and put a new layer of um, stone protection in here, and as well we're going to be doing the brakes as well. New, uh, some new paint over those calipers, new rotors, new pad. That fluid looks a bit, yeah, a little bit done. So uh, yeah, new fluid as well. So we'll start getting into it. That anymore. We want some fresh stuff. Well, Rosems, the calibers themselves are in pretty good nick. Um, rubbers aren't too damaged at all. Anyway, so we'll uh, get them all cleaned up. Pads, pads were still definitely got enough meat on them. Um, those rotors look fine. So, let's see what we can do with those ones just yet. Might, might keep them around to spare. I'll put them on the, uh, on the big air and put big air rotors at the front. We don't know just yet, we'll, we'll come back to that. And then, yeah. Everything's got a decent amount of pad on it, so no issues. So let me go and finish the rest off and then we'll clean up the calipers. As this show is not funded or sponsored by anyone, except Tin Shed TV, we, uh, we're going to go with the existing rotors for the moment and, and, and the calipers set up. Um, maybe later in the future we can afford to go something a bit more crazy, but for the moment we're going to give these a lovely whiz and clean and repaint to make them look all schmick in the wheel well. But um, we did want to trial some new uh, brake pads with it to see if it makes any difference. So we've used Bendex a lot. Uh, really good, stops really well. But um, we want to try these new brake pads from DBA. So DBA Extreme Performance are the, uh, the best ones that you can get that are uh, road safe. Um, so the race ones, which work really well on a racetrack, um, aren't cannot be used on the road, so this is the best we can use being a streetcar. Alrighty, so what do you get in the kit? You get some lovely brake pads. Yeah, they don't look any different from a normal one. Same shape. Lovely meat, so we'll see how they go. They also send you new shims for the uh, outside of the caliper. And some new brake lube, which will be good because they'll, um, being a sliding, floating caliper, that will be great. And what else do you get in here? Oh yeah. So front part numbers changed that, etc. And yeah, just a range of brake pads and what to do. Let's get into it. Start clean those things up.
All right, another day. We're ripping the uh, the old suspension out. How are you going, Shauna? Suspension. Mm. It's rooted. It's rooted. Hey, can you push that uh, push that tower up and down? No, All right. Nah, not the much. fact that you can do do it again with your just with your hands. Yeah, <laughs> that that tower hub is shot. Strut top now. The strut top man, it's gone. Gone, good. Should have got a video of it when it was on the ground. It um, literally, it literally came up that much. Have a look at this. Should those holes be flogged out that much? That looks very shiny and very flogged out. <laughs> it's like, it's like its own camber kit. Yeah, look, look at it. That has been flogged out by the bolt being in there. What happened here, Sean? I got half the up back on the floor. I went to the beach. You sure? The Simpson Desert? Well, it was a Queensland beach. <laughs> Not the river? Not the Tweed River? Uh, might have been the Brisbane River. <laughs> How flogged out are those top? Oh, they're not as bad as I was... You can see the rubbers down there is a bit. Yeah, like, if we take that bolt out and actually disassemble it, it'll probably be rooted inside. You'll, pro you'll probably see all the ball bearings fall out. Yeah. But this one's... Look at that. Jesus Christ. Look at that camber. Like... I don't know if that's just been from a bolt flogging out in there. Mm. Or if someone's actually intentionally done that. Because it's not flogged out there. Oh, that's pretty fixed steel. I ain't going to be flogging out. That's what I mean. And the, the bolt was still in good condition. So I would have expected the bolt to show some signs of... I reckon someone's trying to make their own camber kit. Well, look, or, the, or did grandma try to make her own camber these kit? These are the factory bolts that I just took out. Yeah. They're not even damaged. I would expect to see some damage on these threads with that happening. So I think someone's actually intentionally done that. Hmm. Weird. Uh, look, the bolt's supposed to be here. Look at it. There's no way that bolt should not have damage on it. Oh, well. After that much. Hmm. Interesting. So, some dodgy shit going on down mm. in Grafton. Just to make sure, here's the new one. It's a circle, isn't it, Shauno? Well, it's slightly bigger. Slightly bigger. Slightly. Big. If you look at the two, you can see the difference. But not like that. That. That's ridiculous. How's, a, how's that rear one looking there, Shauno? Oh, let's give it a... Give it... Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Got good rebound. <laughs> and the fact that you can just pull it out. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that's. Oh, listen to it. Listen to it. You can see where it's dragging in there, but. I don't think there's any fluid in there. That's, <laughs> that's short. Like a hot dog down the hallway. How's this one there? <laughs> it won't even come out. Oh, oh. That's what she said. But whilst all the suspension is out, decided to uh, redo some anti -stip, um, chip coating, stone chip coating, because come down the rear here where Shauna is. She's uh, she's all flogged out. Mm. It's like the uh, the gravel smashed out. I think I I reckon this thing's been off road. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's a crazy amount of shit. <laughs> but this looks very new. So I know. I so, say it's I'm, like there's a bit of new and old in there, all of this. Yeah. Thing. So I reckon they've gone off road. They've ripped the shit out of that with stone, so they bought some new ones. Or they got it all done under insurance because half the paint's a bit different. It's really weird, isn't it, Shauno? Yeah. I don't think the uh, history is as genuine as we thought it was on this car. But just smell like grandma inside. Uh, dead grandma? Dead grandma. Ooh. 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 Alright, gonna clean all this old uh, stuff off. So I'm just using the whizzer. And I'm just going through and <laughs> removing it that way. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. 
We're, def we're definitely uh, making some weight saving. Yeah, for those playing at home, that's dirt. That's not rust. That's just dirt coming out of there. Grafton, Grafton Rally. <laughs> It's time to start painting. So we're using the uh, Steptone anti-chip coating. Ready to go down there, Shawno? Give it a go. All masked up. So we did clean it up a little bit. So all that's gonna get a new coating. Not too bad for your first coat. A couple of big wet spots, but they'll be behind all the tires and shit once we're all done. Mm. Just from. That's all right. We'll just go over it again with another coat and leaving it out. It's pretty good to me. Done. Next. We finally finished. All, all done. All done. I gotta clean the black off me now. That's oh, gonna be a bit hard there. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all nice and schmick in there. How many, how many burnouts do you reckon it's going to last? Well, every time you do a burnout, it's just going to add to it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> the black <laughs> rubber bad. will just add to the set tone. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. It's not rubber, officer. It's set tone. <laughs> <laughs> it's set tone texture finish. <laughs> cool beans. So what we gotta do now, we gotta sho shove the uh, suspension back in. Yep. Yep. Yep, very similar to the Calais setup, I'm pretty sure. Mmm. So, oh, look at that big Well, right, we gotta clean up and get ready for our live stream. Go, go do my makeup. Even yeah. though you probably saw it like months ago when this video is coming out, but that's uh, that's the date this video was made up. Yeah. Alright. Go do my hair, put my makeup on, get my nails done. Cool. You'll see us tomorrow, which is now. Um, we're going to take the rotor off this one because we're keeping the rotors off our old white project car and we're going to put it in the uh, Magnara over here because we've just finished painting up the inside guard so that's all nice and dry now so we're going to steal the old T2 rotors off that replace some of these uh, from the standard ones we've uh, decided to go with this uh, safe brake um, braided uh, brake line kit so Basically pre-done, preset, ready to go for the VT to VZ um, sedan at, with ABS. So they're all pre-done with new clips, new grommets, new brackets, new washers, um, and and as well uh, a warranty card because it is a um, five-year warranty, I believe. What do you think, Shawno? Bit fancy. These have got um, the old label. You can't get them wrong. We like new stuff, don't we, Sean? The uh, new fresh painted caliper, Sean. Looks pretty good. Looks all right. Should go on red. Red goes faster. Yeah, I wanted to match the uh, the car. I didn't need ten extra horsepower. <laughs> we'll put a shed badge on the front. Ew! And just like in the kit, they give you free new uh, uh, brass washers. I mean, not brass, copper. Copper. Copper washers. So uh, the color of the two cent piece. Copper. Copper. Actually, no one who watches our channel knows what a two cent piece is. <laughs> <laughs> um. I got two cent pieces inside. It's one of those old things, people. <laughs> Only old people know what they are. <laughs> All right, two cent piece now is probably worth. Sorry, two cent piece from back then is probably now worth a dollar. <laughs> Bloody inflation. Sweet, we'll nip it up. And. Oh, yeah. How's that? So, your flare spanner, mm. 10 mil on your hard line, 12 mil on your caliper. Boom. How's it look? We've got pretty orange, pretty silver, pretty copper, pretty braided, pretty rust. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. It's pretty good. We're doing it. 
got some fresh. Spray! Ooh. Ooh, that's the front, sir. I want the rear. <laughs> They're not gonna fit in the rear. Ah, Unless try. you want to give the Magna R like a three inch lift. Alright, let's try this again. King Springs. Whoop whoop. Well, I saw it those with the rear because the box was small, but this one just had more air. <laughs> it's like a bag of chips. As it's soon like as you open bag. the chips, it's half the size. Anyway, there we go. There we go. New rears. New rears. So you've got a FE2 height? Um, basically, yeah. Back to factory height. We want to keep this factory look. Um, the funny thing is, the factory fronts are a lowered spring. Alright, is that a Monaro thing? That's a Monaro thing, because they were 50mm uh, lower overall. 50? Yeah. Bloody hell. So these here are new ones, so obviously a quick shock test. Easily. Rear bond back. Here's the old one. Yeah, there's there's <laughs> nothing left in them. Ready? Let's do it again. Yep, there is. First little bit of travel. Bang! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no good. No good. But right, we got new shocks, new springs. What are we running? Uh, we're just running the Munro Reflex. Um, so same as what's in the catfish. Same what's in the catfish. Keep it simple. Like we know it works. We know the car can get out of speed bumps. And we want it to look factory, we want it to have that stealthy look except for what's going to be in the, under the bonnet. But, um, here's the old spring. Obviously, small, 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 big. So, obviously being a, compre a progress, more of a progressive, ugh, progressive spring than the old one, it should be a nice, firmer ride, especially into the corners. I reckon, Sean, it looks alright in there? Um, Oh, it all fits, so that's a good start. Mm. See if it all works when we put the wheels back on. Pretty colours. Yeah. Mix it up a little bit with some orange and some silver and some black and some yellow. So that's, more than worth, that's worth more than 20 horsepower. 25. 25. Yeah, inflation. Four bearings. Did you get that on, Phil? I sure did. Wow. I, uh, I don't think we should, should also be doing this on the glass table. Well, if your other table wasn't covered. <laughs> Look at that. That is munted. Look at it. <laughs> right. Too much uh, graft and rally. Yeah. He's uh, in a quality bump stop. Yeah, bump yep. stop is rooted. Uh, I think these had enough. Yeah, Ollie's had enough too. What do you think, Ollie? Broken? It's not a donut, mate. I think he's looking for the bin. Where's the bin, Ollie? You put it in the box over there for me? And yeet it? Yeah, that's it, in the bin. Yay. Done. New strut tower going in, nice and clean. Some gloss black struts, some uh, dark stain guard. Looks good. It's all back together. Brand new brake lines, brand new braided brake lines, brand new pads, old rotor, repainted calipers. What do you like? What do you think, Shawno? Um, hopefully it works. Now with a fresh bottle of fluid. So we know it's not contaminated with anything. Feel that. Feel that all the way to the top. It's taking its time to come through. Give it one more. So, yep. sucking, so whilst you're sucking Sean, crack it. Yep. 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 All right. All done. All done. Brakes. Shockies, springs, CVs, tie rod. All done. Nice.
So just a word of warning with these new uh, DBA pads, we, these new shims, they actually have a tab on the inside. So if you have solid rotors like mine, they actually bite in. They're not 100% bent over in the factory. And that's what's actually catching on the rotor. So we got to whack them back to 90 degrees. Here's one I fished out of the bin to make sure and you can see, yeah, they're, um, they're pushed all the way back. So we'll just tap them back and make sure, and it'll be all good. Very nice. Should be all right. <laughs> we'll just cut it all out. <laughs> Maybe this is what Holden should have done to the Coupe 4. <laughs> Bolding. Stock. Upgrade. You were, you were like going around me to try to take a photo of my ass or something. You're more lighting there. Reach around. What do you say, Dave? I'm too dark. <laughs> <laughs>